Hi everybody, I'm Dawn Cooperider with Preferred Pest Control and the month of December we are highlighting pantry pests as our pest of the month. Um, kind of a, a rare known pest, not a lot of people have trouble with them but if you ever do run into problems with them you know they can be kind of a nuisance, a big pain in the rear. Um, when we're talking about pantry pests, we're talking about, it could be moths, uh, small moths flying around in your pantry, it could also be uh, beetles and weevils, things that crawl around in your food. Um, all these types of pests that we find in your pantry, they all have an appetite for the kinds of foods you would normally find in your cupboards in your pantry. So you're talking about your baking goods, like your flours and your baking powders, baking sodas, cereal, dry pasta, dry pet food, powdered milk, cornstarch, crackers, your spices, bread, bird seed, dried fruit, and even nuts. Um, so any of those items you have stored in your pantry, you're gonna wanna make sure that they are completely sealed so that these types of moths and beetles cannot make their way in to contaminate your food. So I just wanted to talk to you about some DIY solutions for your pantry pest situation as we're um, just rolled through Thanksgiving and we're headed into Christmas. There's lots of holiday baking. You might be digging out some baking goods from the back of your cabinet that you haven't gotten to maybe since last winter. Uh, candy canes and chocolates and all those delicious things. So um, as you're doing that, be on the lookout for pantry pests. This can come in the form of moths, beetles, weevils, different, different types of little creatures that live in your food. These uh, types of things can either infest your food before you ever purchase them from the grocery store, uh, you know, before you ever even bring them into your home. Uh, we're fortunate here in the U.S. that we have the Food and Drug Administration and we have some really great grocery stores that monitor this to prevent you from bringing this uh, pest back into your home. But if you shop farmer's markets um, and even some really great stores run into this problem from time to time, they can sometimes already have pests in the product. So always make sure you're examining that as you bring it home from the grocery store. You're taking a look that you don't see anything odd in your flour or your baking soda or any of those kinds of things. Some of um, these pests, like your, your stored pantry pests, like your, your beetles and your, your Indian meal moths, those kinds of things, can make their way into your food also once it's already in your cupboard or your pantry um, from either open windows and doors or um, openings in your walls that let these kinds of things come in. Um, so it's, it can be easy to develop this kind of problem, but it also can be easy to eliminate this kind of problem on your own without needing the help of us here at Preferred Pest Control. Um, one of the best things you can do when you get home, of course, make sure you're looking at your food that um, as you're putting those things back into your pantry and cupboard, just make sure that they don't have any tears in the bag. There's no openings. There's no way for things to be getting in or out. So you want a sealed product. Um, another thing to do is before you add it to your cabinets or put it in your pantry, you want to make sure you put it in a sealed container. So a lot of like flour, sugar just comes in a paper bag, can easily be torn. Pantry pests can get in there, not to mention rodents and ants and other things that can pop in there. But um, just pantry pests in general, you just want to make sure that stuff is sealed up. So um, for example, if you're a fan of the Home Edit series on Netflix right now, I've been watching it and I'm, oh, it's, it's, um, what do I want to call it? It's a, um, <clears throat> it's a blessing and a curse. Uh, watching the home edit definitely got me motivated to organize my cabinets and my fridge and all that kind of thing. But once you get started, like there's no stopping point. And before you know it, when you meant to just reorganize your baking goods, next thing you know, the whole kitchen's torn up. So I don't know if I recommend going quite that far, but I do think it's a good idea to store your baking goods. So one, of the products that I really like are these containers from OXO. I don't know if you're supposed to say that in one word, but OXO is the brand. But they're just these top lid containers. So when it pops down, they are sealed airtight and they pop up one hand release. You pull the lid off and you've got, um, they come in various sizes and containers. This one would be great at storing maybe some pasta or something. I just, I don't have it full right now. But super handy while you're baking because it's just a one touch item but it does seal it up airtight, which is super nice. Um, and I think I probably found these at like 
Target or Bed Bath & Beyond, perhaps, something like that. I know you can get them in lots of different places. I think Amazon and Walmart have their own knockoff version. Um, I got this brand. It's called Progressive from the Container Store. It's also very good. It's not quite the one-handed application that makes those super easy, to, super easy to use when you're baking, but they do all have some other little features, like this one comes with a little measuring spoon and sifter already built in, and then it's got a little bar across there so you can make sure you get a leveled scoop out of that. So they're pretty nice too. You do have to use a couple of hands and it's a little bit more maneuvering to, to work on there. Um, I also did notice when I was at Sam's Club last week that they have their own version of this OXO brand and um, I'll put a link in the description below, but I want to say it was like $30 and you got several different size containers and they were all the airtight sealable containers that you can put your sugar, flour, different things like that in. Um, but if you're on a low budget and you don't have the money to go to container store or Target or wherever and buy these kinds of things. Um, some of the, some of these types of things you can find at the Dollar Tree, Dollar General. You just want to make sure that they are a tight seal. I prefer the ones that are clear as, um, as mom in the house. I know when I'm getting low on ingredients, um, as pest control, I can look through this and make sure that there's no bugs. There's nothing weird happening inside of whatever I've got stored in here. So I do like the clear containers. Um, but if you're on a budget, a simple fix is just a Ziploc baggie. So um, it doesn't always look as pretty in your cabinetry, but you can easily take that sugar or the flour or a bag of chips, anything you've got saved in your pantry that meal moths um, and weevils and things like that are going to go after. You can just stick them in a Ziploc baggie. Make sure you seal them up. Um, this is not going to help you when it comes to fighting off mice but it definitely will help you combat pantry pests. So um, you can take it as far as I did and like reorganize your baking stuff and make it all nice and organized, which is super nice now that it's done. But I can tell you in the middle of it, it was not super fun to be doing, to be doing. And I still have a huge box of stuff that once I reorganized, I couldn't actually fit back in there. So. It's a project. I don't know if I recommend that for you, but I do recommend you switching out any of your baking goods that you don't currently have in an airtight sealed container into one of these that I mentioned that you could pick up at a local store or even just grabbing a plastic bag and sticking your ingredients in there to keep them safe. So I hope you and your family have some time this uh, holiday season to do some baking. And I hope when you open up all of those containers that everything is fresh and good and ready for you to use. Um, as you have those cabinets em empty and you're working on making your pies and your cookies and your candies, it's a great time to go ahead and wipe that cabinetry out, tidy up any of those bags that might be spilling things in the cabinet, clean it up now. It'll keep pantry pests out this winter and it'll also help you prevent ants this spring. If so you've already done all of these things. You've already purged your pantry and gotten rid of all the expired ingredients and things that you will no longer use. You've thrown away things that have um, torn packaging. Um, the, the food's already been exposed to certain types of insects. You've tossed all that out. You've wiped down the inside of your cabinets to make sure that any kind of debris, um, either from pests that you currently have or spills and things that you just have from your pantry items and baking goods being pushed around and things. Make sure all of that is cleaned up. If you're still having a problem with pantry pests after you've done that, please give us a call. We have a simple and affordable pest treatment that we can do to eliminate the pantry pest, but I think you'll find pretty good success if you try the, the airtight containers and wiping up any kind of spills um, and getting rid of any kind of old contaminated food. I think if you do those three things first, you'll see a great impact. Um, if you're, like I said, if you're still fighting them though, give us a call. We don't want you to fight those all winter. We don't want you to waste money on repurchasing that food just for it to get contaminated again. So please give us a call. Um, if you have any other questions about pantry pests or any other pests in general, don't hesitate to reach out, give us a call. You can even shoot us a photo if you send it to 816-279-2000. We do free pest identification. So if you see something weird in your pantry or someplace else around your home, snap a photo, 
text it to us. We're happy to identify it and let you know if it's something you need to be concerned about or not. Um, and if there is something you can do on your own, we'll be sure to let you know how to do that. So, uh, so thank you for watching this video on pantry pests. We hope that you have a very happy holiday season and do lots of baking and eating with your family this, uh, this Christmas. We know it's going to be a little different for a lot of us. Uh, but we're going to make the best of it. So from us to you, we wish you a Merry Christmas.